While most master plans are generally updated every 10 years, the latest plan for development at the St. George Regional Airport is forecasting demands into the next 20 years. Oh, it's pretty robust right now. Um, like growth out here is amazing. And, uh, and so as that continues to grow, the airport will grow as well. We've seen that. It's just almost a, a direct correlation. People move in, they want to go places, and they want to use the airport. It's only taken about a year, several open houses and many steering committee meetings to decide what future developments might look like at the St. George Regional Airport in the next couple of decades. The expansion under Alternative Plan 4 includes improvements beginning in the next five years. A couple of the things that will actually happen over the next five years will be an expansion of the terminal ramp that where, the, where the commercial aircraft park. We will go in and basically double the size of that ramp and we'll probably look at adding somewhere between three and four new jet bridges off of that uh, new development. We have also looked at once you go past security to have an area that is outside that you can actually sit outside until you board your airplane. It will also include increasing the size of the terminal inside. And it will have a food court there um, and uh, we'll try to make it so that it fits the, the, the motif, the, the feel of our current uh, terminal. So it has that kind of welcome to St. George, kind of here's the, the red rock and all the good things. So we'll try to make it do that. We're looking at um, possibly this next year um, hopefully we can, if we get the funds, then we will actually plan and design that terminal expansion so that we're ready in 2024, 2025. Stamayer said the increased growth has also shown a need for more airport hangars to private aircraft at the airport. As the city grows and the surrounding area grows, people are moving in, they have airplanes, they want a place to put them, they want a hangar to put them in. So we have seen just an inordinate amount of growth in the general aviation side of things with the hangars and that type of thing. One of the other things we're starting to see more of a demand of is corporate size hangars, 100 by 100 or bigger. And, uh, and so we're looking at, in the master plan, we actually looked at locations for those types of hangars. The plan is based upon a high growth rate in Washington County, which has already reflected record use of the airport for travel. We're averaging on an annual basis, really since we, since we opened the airport in 2011, we, we've probably gone from about 35,000 operations a year to now we're in the 60,000 range of operations a year, and an operation is a takeoff and a landing. Uh, or a takeoff is one and a landing is one. So we've grown, obviously. While aircraft numbers have increased and will continue to, those living to the north and south have been duly notified of the airport expansion. Big commercial air aircraft, the newer ones are actually quieter than the older ones because they had to meet new noise uh, requirements as they built their engines. The engines are quieter. They're, they're more economical, all those kind of things. So the old air, airplanes are actually louder. Um, it's funny because the people that live in the homes to the south of us or the north of us, they never ever really complain about the jet, you know, the commercial jets that take off because they climb right out. And usually by the time they're there, they're really not that loud. But it's the small little airplanes, the single engine airplanes, they're loud <laughs> and they're, they're doing touch and goes. And so they're, sometimes that can be a uh, irritant um, to people who are in their home. And they hear, you know, that constant, you know, noise of one airplane right after another going around their house. So, At 9,300 feet long, Stamayer said there's no need to make the airport runway longer, but at some point, if they decide to add larger passenger aircraft into the service, they may need to reinforce the runway. Currently is, is plenty long. It's uh, um, strength-wise, if we start getting aircraft that are heavier on a regular basis, like more than five times a day, then what we would look at is um, actually putting a, another three inch or four inch asphalt layer on top of what we have right now to strengthen it. And, and that would be then enough to handle the big ones. But right now we can, we can take 737s all day long.
And parking will also be expanded under the plan, which may require a slight revision in the current road that brings traffic into the terminal. So there, there's options for a piece of land that maybe we look at in the future, but uh, right now the only land that we've actually looked at purchasing outside the footprint of the airport is that parking area. And it just a, it's a small chunk. The land across the street from the terminal isn't owned by the city airport, but is expected to be developed into commercial property instead of its current use of land for livestock. We'll be looking at all kinds of things that fit into the best use around an airport. Obviously, homes are not one of those things. Staymeyer would like to see the St. George Regional Airport eventually add international flights. Um, so yeah, we could become an international airport here in St. George if, uh, if we can attract those types of flights, even if they're seasonal. Uh, you know, the Canadians love to come down and, and tour Zion National Park, um, those, those kind of things. So Those who haven't looked at or commented on the St. George Regional Airport's master plan still have a few more weeks to voice their opinions through the survey before it will be wrapped up and sent to the FAA by midsummer. Well, we have what's called an ALP, Airport Layout Plan, that is kind of the final document that kind of shows what we want to do in the next 20 to 30 years. And once that is accepted by the FAA, then we can actually then start looking at getting them to help pay for those things. Staymeyer said the total expected cost of expansion of the airport is somewhere around $251 million over the next 20 to 30 years, which 90% is expected to come from the FAA funds or taxes on tickets. The other 10% um, the, the airport uh, pays for out of PFC funds, for the, which is passenger facility charges, so $4.50 every passenger that flies out of our airport that comes into the airport and we take that money and use it as our 10% match. From the St. George Regional Airport, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.